I am going to be going through my uh, my sweater collection, which is actually pretty small. It's a pretty small sweater collection, but it's a sweater collection nonetheless. Okay, I don't know which sweater I'm going to pick out first. Um, I think I'll start with something that's not a full sweater it's a sweater vest now I've been became obsessed with sweater vests out of nowhere to be honest with you and I have three of them this one in particular is really nice because it has a sunflower right smack dab in the middle of it and it's this it's it's actually this um it's like dark navy blue with yellow trim with this daisy in the middle and it's really nice and I really like it and I got it from I got this one from Depop it is a little bit big on me but I do absolutely love it it is one of my favorite sweater vests so far like I said I have other ones I guess I guess I'll show you my other one I'm just gonna show you one more but this is another sweater vest I have and it's just like kind of orange and it has rainbow stripes on it so that's another sweater vest I have, and I really like that as well. But this one is, this one's really it. This one is it. Okay. The next sweater is actually a sweater that I had um, gotten two years ago. I have not worn this sweater yet, which sucks because it is a very pretty princess-like sweater. I actually had it in one of my other videos. It was like a, like a, like a um, thrift haul video. And, um... Yeah, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of very princess looking. I was like, the when I first, when I got this, when I picked this up, and I got this from, I got this one from a thrift store. When I picked this up, I imagined myself wearing it with like possibly a Lolita dress. Maybe this one, like, or maybe that's too much mint. I don't know. Maybe with this Lolita dress and put it over there and then it's like, oh, it's so pink and it's kind of contrast with it. Maybe, maybe not though. It's a very princess-like and it has like these and I think I already, if you look back on one of my videos, I think you already see it. Yeah, um, but it has these iridescent, try not to get the light. I want the light to like, not block the light, but yeah, it has these iridescent buttons on it. You can't tell right there and I don't even know if it's even focusing but it has these iridescent like rose buttons and it has like these 3d flowers on it and it's amazing I think it's really pretty so the next sweater I'm going to pick out is I guess I can I guess since this is the third one this is from I got this one from Etsy I got this from Etsy and this was actually, actually when I first got this, I had like immediate buyers, like I got it, it came in and then I had buyers remorse for like a good week after I got it. But then it grew on me because, you know, I was like, well, I paid money for it. I, I better like it. I paid 20 something dollars for this, uh, but I do like it. I do very much like it. It's very out there. Um, I like the fact that it's um, kind of gaudy, kind of like tacky look. I love tack. I love tacky shit. Um, and it's by a brand called Sister Sister, and it has stars and flowers and hearts. I believe, yeah, hearts on it. And it's really, it's a really elaborate, uh, very funky out there. Sweater. The next one I'm going to show is this one again because it's next now this I got from a thrift store as well if I can try to put this on the hook correctly and this is by colors by Alexander Julian okay I got this from a thrift store and I originally got it because I, honestly I just I just thought it was pretty I was like I like all the colors I think one thing that threw me off was like the brown integrated in it but like honestly I feel like it works I just was like, oh, I think this sweater is pretty. I think it's really, like, grungy. I think it's nice. I love, absolutely love this sweater. I don't have a boyfriend, but it feels like I'm wearing, like, my boyfriend's sweater. Like, yeah. Like, his name is Eric, and, like, this is his sweater. Uh, I wear it all the time. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. It feels always feels like I'm wearing, like, a boyfriend's sweater. So that's why I like this, too, because it's very comforting. It's like a blanket so this sweater I got also from a thrift store and this is one of the first pastel sweaters I got along with the one I'm wearing but I'll talk about that later I'll talk about the sweater I'm wearing later and like it's I don't think this one is vintage per se but I do like the colorway of it I got this about four years ago and I do like the colorway of it. I like the fact that there's like a like a mint it's like a mint green almost like a light blue it's like uh, teetering between those two and then it's like pink and then it's like another like darker blue okay this is definitely a mint green this is definitely a blue and a pink yeah 
but I like the colorway of it. Um, it's one of my first pastel sweaters, and I do absolutely adore it, and I wear it as much as possible. Um, I think originally this is supposed to be a cropped sweater because it's a size large, and it when I wear it, it like it it fits me weird. The next one is one of my favorites, and it's also a cardigan, you know, a cardigan that is French for cardigan. Okay, um, so this next one is by the Eagle's Eye. Now, the Eagle's Eye is another one of my favorite, um, I guess, vintage knit wear people. They have this one sweater that has, like, Campbell's tomato soup on, like, the front of it. I want that fucking sweater. I want that sweater. Okay, but the Eagle's Eye, along with, um storybook knits is like two of my favorite like vintage brands of sweaters because they're so like i guess that they're so like out there and so like amazing and they're really just nice to look at anyway i digress this was also in like um also in the same thrift haul that the that the pink princess one was in but i really really adore this one it's a christmas themed cardigan but it's not christmas colors and i think that's what i love about it because Christmas is one of my favorite, first of all, Christmas is my favorite holiday, and second of all, it's pastel, and I really like that, and I like the fact that it's thick, like, it's thick, like, to these days, they don't make cardigans like they used to, this one is really thick, really nice, and it's extremely warm, and I love wearing it, I've worn it so many times, and then the back, this is the, back is, like, literally my favorite, Oh, it is literally my favorite because it has a home and it has a heart around the home. Um, this is the like well coveted pastel fairy K cat sweater that has like sparkly thread. And I was lucky enough to get the girl who sold me this sold it to me for 35 bucks. <sighs> Chef kiss to that girl, just to you, wherever you are. Thank you for selling me this sweater for 35 bucks. This is a very <clears throat> cute grail item and i was really really thankful that i found this for 35 bucks instead of like 60 because honestly i would have not bought it if it was like above 30 bucks but yeah the grilled cat sweater the cat knit sweater it needs to be washed to be honest with you like i wore it, the last time i wore it i wore it to a halloween party and I don't know what I was doing. Like, I wasn't doing anything. All I was doing was sitting down and watching people play Smash Bros. But somehow, it got, like, dirty. And I'm just like, why? When did this happen? Why did this happen? Why does this, why does this happen to me? My most favorite is sweater, though. My most favorite is sweater. I'm going to go ahead and show it, and then I'm going to explain to you why this is my favorite sweater this is a sweater in question okay do you see what i'm seeing right do you see what i am seeing do you are you looking at the colors are you looking at the the daisy that's right stab smack in the middle of it are you looking at the color block are you seeing the polka dots are you seeing the stripes on the arms are you seeing what i'm seeing are you falling in love just like i fell in love with this good this sweater is a color block sweater with a daisy on them in the middle of it i got this sweater from Etsy and I got this a long time ago now this I got this around the time like before the whole rainbow trend start popping off I got that like white right before then but, like yeah it has these like um like color block sleeves on it as well and it's just all different types of colors and it's so pretty and it all comes together um that's what the back looks like and the back is pretty plain I think the only downside to that sweater though is it's very very itchy it's made out of wool and it's really really itchy but I did go ahead and like sew like like a quick sewing of a lining in there I did what I could um but it doesn't itch anymore so like <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job I didn't hem this though you can see the lining in there and I did not hem anything I just wanted something that I could just like put under this so I wouldn't die like my skin wouldn't feel like it was falling off and that's all for my sweater collection I see you guys I see you I don't know okay I'll see you guys another time I guess goodbye